Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at custom JS for hover tools with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's kind of talk about what we're going to be covering. All right. So first off, we're going to be doing definitely doing the hover tool. Okay, and we're going to be doing this with uh, some JavaScript callbacks as well as using uh, some uh, built in data. Okay, so for example, we're going to be using the indices and some geometry. Um, so let's go on and uh, start up a new file here and let's save this as uh, bokeh hover tool uh, custom js.py and let's go on and get in our um, imports in here so from bokeh.tools uh, dot tools dot models uh, we want to import our column data source uh, we want our custom js and we also want our hover tool we're also going to get in our standard imports, so a figure and show. Then let's go on and just kind of create up some uh, some fake data here. So we'll do something like x here is two, three, five, six, uh, I don't know, nine, seven. Um, y here will be something like um, I don't know, uh, six, five. Uh, three, eight, uh, seven. Let me see, is that one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more in here of um, five. Why not? Um, now we need to, we're going to actually create this up. Um, we want to make this more of like a network graph. Okay, so what it is that you have, you're going to have just the data points, okay? And so you can think about this as maybe you're overlaying this on a map, and then you want to see like um, uh, flights uh, going to and from uh, different airports or something like that. So it could be, think about it as like a flight network graph. So let's create up some links in here. Um, actually, uh, this would actually be called edges. Technically, or we can call them connections or anything else that we want. Um, so here we'll have, um, let's do uh, zero is equal to one, two. Oh, and you know what? This won't work in this way. I need to uh, do it this way. So we'll do zero is the list one, two. Um, we want one is something like zero, three, four. Um, two um, is zero, five, uh, three is uh, one, four, um, four is going to be one, three, maybe, uh, and five here would be something like two, four. That'll do. Uh, and let's make them all even there. Even. Make you a little bit more even as well. Let me clean that up. Okay, so the next part that we're going to actually go about doing in here is creating up our figure. So uh, create a figure here. P is uh, P is equal to figure, and we want to, this to be the plot uh, width of 500 and a plot height of 500. We also want to not really have any tools in here. Um, we want uh, toolbar location is none because we're just not going to have a toolbar. Um, title, um, let's give this um, um, a little bit of a description so say hover over nodes because again this is a network graph um, then let's do something like what we want to actually create up our column source data uh, source uh, our column source of data and how do we want this to be um, we want um, let's do x naught uh, is going to be equal to an empty column. 
why not is going to be an empty column. Um, why does it keep popping that up? I need to turn that off. Um, and then we'll do something like, um, oh, and you know what? I don't need the, I don't need this in here. All right, and then we'll do uh, uh, x x one is equal to an empty column, and y two is equal to an empty column. Um, now let's actually go on and create up our um, our segmentations. Okay, so we'll do be doing our line. So we'll just call this sr p dot segment. In here, x not is equal to x not y not is equal to y not uh, x1 is equal to x1 uh, um, y1 is equal to here y1 and again what we're doing in here is we're having these x not uh, y not coordinates okay to, to have our pinpoints or the center of our nodes um, and so then we'll be able to actually plot them out um, and let's give this a color of uh, fire brick um, alpha is equal to 0 0.5. We want them a little bit transparent. Um, and let's make the lines, uh, line width here is equal to 2. And source data is equal to source. Then the next thing that we want in here is to go on and create up our dots. So uh, we'll create up a circle, C dot circle. In here, X, Y, uh, color is fire. You know what? Uh, let's do navy for those. Um, size is equal to um, 30. Alpha is 0 0.4. Um, hover color. Um, you know what? Let's make this navy and let's go back. fire brick uh, and then our hover alpha we want it to actually go to a full one then let's go on and uh, do our code here our JavaScript code so in the goal of this particular uh, piece of code in here okay we're going to take care of the links we're going to take care of um, pushing all of this um, data in here. Uh, so let's actually maybe uh, talk a little bit about, before I actually create up the code, I wanna create up the callback itself. Um, and do something like a custom uh, JS in here. So the arguments that it's going to want to take in here is a circle. Um, and then that'll grab our circle uh, data source. And then we'll have a segment here, and this is going to be a uh, our data source as well. Um, and then again, here we'll have our code. Our code is going to be our JavaScript code that we had made before, um, and that that's actually going to be our callback. So we need to make sure and take care of this little bit here okay so we need to actually add in some data and be able to push this um data into our um into our source code or our source data here okay that's going to be that's going to be the the final thing that we're going to be doing with this javascript code so um uh constant here links um and we're actually going to need it to take in the actual link itself um or we can call it, um, we can actually call this edge uh, because we're actually going to want to put in um, the edges, okay? Um, so then const here, we want data. And then again, um, oh, all right, I'll have to do it this way then. Um, so we want x not uh, such that an empty slot we want y not such that 
an empty array uh, x1 such that um, an empty array and then we also want y1 such that an empty array as well so then let's do const in here and we want our indices here and that's going to be our cb or so our callback data dot index dot indices uh, and then what else do we want in here well, let's go through and we need to make a for loop so uh, some variable i is equal to zero uh, such that i is less than uh, the indice uh, length and then so we loop through that i uh, const end here so we have our uh, edges okay uh, and again that's here this whoops this edges here okay and this is uh, gonna be edges so we're passing in um, this data set here okay this is the way this is kind of a cool thing is that this is allowing us to push in a Python dictionary into a JavaScript um, uh, object okay it's not an, uh, it's not a dictionary but it's an object and so we're actually able to push that in uh, for ourselves so now we want in here start um, with um, oops uh, da, 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 da. let me do uh, start first here and that's going to be our uh, indice in here I and then we're going to do a nested loop because again we're having we need a x uh, x not and a y not um, a y one and a uh, x one okay so we need these pairs okay and usually whenever we're doing for loops we'll do something like i j pairs so then we also need a, another for loop so a j zero j is less than in here um, we want the edges start dot length uh, with j plus plus so and then in here we have const end is equal to our edges here of uh, start of j uh, and then we want to actually go on and push in the data okay so it's going to be pushing it in for each of these individual uh, arrays okay we're going to be pushing in the data in there so for x not we'll have to do this for each one individually so push in here uh, circle dot data dot x of start um, and then this I'm going to actually just copy that put that in and then here we'll do y not of y of start and then in here we'll do x1 of end and then uh, y1 of y of end and that should push everything in uh, pretty decently now we need to make sure that we have our segments right segment dot data is equal to data and so that will update um, our data for us as we go along so that takes our JavaScript code um, that is pushed in so we have our callback done now let's go on and add in um, the actual tooltip okay we haven't actually done the tooltip have we so add tools in here and we want um, our hover tool uh, tool tips in here we actually want none uh, and then our callback back is CB for our callback function uh, and then the renderer that we actually want um, here is actually going to be CR because we want those circles so now let's double check and hopefully everything whoops, every, everything has 
worked. Let's run this. And, oh, all right. So everything seems to be working except for our lines. Okay, so you can see here that we hover and um, everything changes. It changes from that fire brick to the navy. So let's go back and look at our particular issue here. So there seems to be a bad column here. And again, it says here a uh, misspelling or a typo. It's actually kind of telling us. And again, we're missing this Y1 inside of our renderer. So let's go back and see if we missed a Y1 somewhere where there should have been a Y1. Oh, right here. Okay, so this needs to be Y1. Um, and I am hoping, that oh, still says that there's another error in there. Mm, so there's another X1 missing. So let's go on and, oh, whoops. Hehe. <laughs> Um, let's do that again. X1, uh, Y1. All right. Um, now, hopefully everything works. All right. And it still didn't work. All right. So let's figure out where our last bit is. And my guess, it's probably going to be inside of a typo inside of our um, code here. So let's hold on and just take a little look-see and see what we find. All right, and we can see here actually pretty pretty clearly what the issue is. Um, that's going to be definitely this line right here. This is all J, and I, again here I accidentally put I. So we'll put in J and J um, in here. Otherwise, because again we're creating this variable here, um, and it's going to actually tell us, oh, I need that for here and here. So it's going to actually just give us that error otherwise. So let's go on and rerun this. And we should now, if we hover over, it should give us a line between and up. Oh, there it is. So it changes everything. And we can see here that we have all of these nice um, examples here where they start to connect with one another. Okay. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.